Hi, my name is Danny, and welcome to Esoteric Moments. Today I wanted to do the 3x3x3 tag. Um, Katie Flowers mentioned me in her video, and I thought it was a fun one, so I thought I would do it myself. I'm going to do her extended version of the tag. The first question is, what are my favorite three herbs? My first favorite herb would definitely be peppermint. I drink peppermint tea all of the time, and I love just using it around my house and enjoying it in a lot of different ways. I also really love lemon thyme, especially when I'm cooking or in the kitchen. I think it's a lot of summery flavor, and it's a... Uh, kind of mild but still has a zest to it and finally chives I put chives in everything from tea to meals to just around my house all the time they are delicious the second question is what are my three favorite crystals and I'm just going to work on ones that I have in my apartment right now the first stone that I love is lapis lazul and I really love it because it's color and, you know, energy, but it's also really useful when working with self-knowledge and truth and kind of finding your own divinity and royalty, your sense of self. The second stone I really love is Bloodstone. I enjoy its energy because it's really great for grounding into your body and finding vitality and strength and courage. It can be a really useful here and now present physical stone. I also wear a fire agate, um, not every day but most of the time, and I love fire agate because it's gorgeous, it really connects to those fiery parts of my personality and um, you know enhances your comfort level with sexuality and sensual things and creativity and just you know really expressing yourself in a multitude of ways. The third question is what are three things you do for your witchy self? And my three things would be drink lots of tea throughout the entire day. It's a great way for me to kind of take a step back and relax no matter how stressful things are. I also meditate almost every night and that's a really excellent way for me to once again kind of just tap into who I am and what moment I'm experiencing now. And finally, I love to take excessively long walks, no matter the season and no matter the place. In the city, when I'm here during the week, that can be a little tricky, but on the weekends, I especially enjoy those long walks in the woods. So the next question is, what are your three favorite decks? And I can't really answer this question because I only have one deck and I've only ever used one deck. That deck is called quantum tarot and I got it in college when I was a physics major. Um, the back of the cards look like this and all of the cards take pictures from the Hubble, Hubble telescope mainly and adds kind of an artistic interpretation to them. Um, and even better than the artwork is that the meaning in the little study guide and book uses concepts from quantum mechanics and physics to describe the you know message behind the card the next question is what are your three favorite famous youtubers and i have been watching youtube for many years so i certainly have watched some of those bigger names like charlie is so cool like but for this tag i thought i would stick with a pagan uh, YouTubers. I love the Four Queens. Even though I don't do a ton of tarot work, I really appreciate her perspective on things and it's one of the few YouTubers that I can handle watching videos that are longer than like 10 minutes. I've also watched um, CuteWitch772 for many years. Her videos are really great and uh, kind of fun and short a lot of times. 
Her videos are really fun and cover a wide range of topics. She's been on YouTube for quite a while, so that's a channel I always look forward to. I also really like Charlie Says Go. Even though she has kind of slowed down on making videos in the last couple years or so, um, it's really been an interesting development watching her spirituality change and grow throughout the year. On to my three new not so well known YouTubers. I would like to start with uh, Shay Burns. Now I really like um, the Tumblr that they do, but there's only one YouTube video, so I'm hoping there are more to come. And it's another druid, so that's really great. I also enjoy Sarah Impey, I think that's how you say her last name, but she does um, Little Celtic Witch, and she has an Etsy shop, and her videos are very fun, and um, you know, she has some interesting things on her Etsy shop. Finally, another druid, and also another last name that I'm probably going to butcher, but that is Bran Quadorian. Mm -hmm something like that. Um, he's actually got a couple of songs up on his channel and some book reviews. It's it's good. I hope that he uh, continues to make videos on a regular basis. My three favorite collaborative channels, of course Pagan Perspective because I'm a substitute on that channel. It was one of the first Pagan collab channels that I watched. I really enjoy it. I'll be honest, I don't watch a lot of the other collab channels. That's not something that usually I'm subscribed to. I do watch the Vlog Brothers, which is kind of a collab channel. Um, they started way back when YouTube was still in its infancy and um, they're pretty popular now. I look through the rest of my YouTube subscriptions and I don't actually subscribe to any other collab channels. So if you know of some more collab channels, you should tell me in the comments so I have more to watch. The next question is my three favorite altar items and my altar is right to the corner of me so I'm going to grab the items. First would be this candle holder that I actually got for my confirmation when I was raised Catholic um, but it's that triple swirl has been really important in my spiritual life for eons and definitely now so as a druid it has even more meaning to me. I also have this little heart stone box um, which is pretty plain of a box but more important to me is um, some roses that I uh, some roses that I picked at summer solstice and dried in this box and have kept on my altar for years now. Um, finally, I have a little silver bell, which is very simple. Um, and I don't use it tons in ritual, but I do use it occasionally. And I think music is really important to my spiritual life. Three areas of study that I'd like to pursue and master. One includes Oum. I did a video of a book review, but that's uh, using Celtic um, tree alphabet runes to do divination. That's something that I'm working on right now. I would also like to become just better at tree identification. Um, I'm pretty good in summer, but in the winter it can be really difficult and I don't know all of like the scientific names for trees, so I'd really like to be able to combine that. I'd also like to learn how to play harp, which sounds like that's not really a pagan thing, but for druids, um, art and expression and storytelling is really important, and the harp is quintessential Celtic music in my mind, so that's something that I really dream about being able to take lessons for. Three last pagan reads. Um, I have a few book reviews that are coming up, but I am reading The Mother Goose Code, Breaking the Mother Goose Code, and a couple other druid books. Um, I don't want to give them away because those reviews should be done soon-ish, I hope. There are a couple questions that I didn't answer um, fully or at all because uh, just couldn't come up with answers are not really as applicable to me. Well, thanks for watching this episode and thanks to Katie for tagging me of sorts and uh, hope that you feel inspired to do this video too and continue the tag along. Have a great week and may you find peace in the sacred grove.